Hey, what's going on guys? Let's try this problem right here. This question is asking determine the equation of the tangent plane to the surface z is equal to x cube minus 3xy plus y cube at the point 1, 2, 3. Now the way to find equation of the tangent plane is this one. So whenever we have the surface, first of all what we do is we rearrange this equation in terms of like uh, we equate this one to 0 and that's going to be the function. After that, we find the derivative with respect to x, like partial derivative with respect to x, partial derivative with respect to y, and partial derivative with respect to z. So those are the derivative is going to be this value, this, this, this. And after that, what we do is we plug in this x, y, z coordinate in terms of this x naught, y naught, and z naught, and then we figure out the final answer, right? And that's going to be the equation of the tangent plane. Now the first step is we have to rearrange this equation. We have to equate this equation to zero. So let's write f of x, y, z is going to be, if you, this is going to remain the same, x cube minus 3xy plus y cube. And if we move this z to this side, that's going to be a negative z, right? And that's going to be equal to zero. And uh, this is our equation right now. Now we have to find the partial derivative with respect to x, with respect to y, and with respect to z. Now with respect to x, when we take the partial derivative with respect to x, we treat other two as a constant. So y and z is going to be treated as a constant and we find the derivative of this one. So here we are going to find the derivative is going to be 3x square and then here we are going to have 3 negative 3y and these two are going to be 0 because since these are constant these two are going to be 0. Now fy, we are going to find the derivative with respect to y. So this is going to be 0, this is going to be negative 3x and uh, this is going to be plus 3y square and other one is going to be 0. Now with respect to z, this is going to be 0, this is going to be 0, this is going to be 0. This is the only thing that's remaining. That's going to be negative 1, right? Now we have found out the partial derivative. Now what we have to do is we have to plug it in this equation like this is going to be 3x square minus 3y and here x minus x naught. So x minus x naught is the value we have right here, right? So this is going to be 1. And here I, I forgot to do one thing. Here actually we can solve the values. So if this is x, f of x, then we can find the values like f of x, 1, 2, 3, because we have the point value given, right? So we can find the values. So 1, 2, 3, and here 1 is x, 2 is y, and 3 is z. Since we have only x and y, we are only considering this two part, right? And 1, we plug the 1 for x value, that's going to be 3 and we plug 2 for this y value that's going to make this one negative 6 and finally we get negative 3 and again here same thing fy 1 2 3 and uh, here we have only x and y so x we plug the 1 that's going to be negative 3 and for y we plug the 2 that's going to make this one 2 square times 4 that's going to be 4 actually 2 square is 4 times 3 that's going to be 12 negative 3 plus 12 that's going to give us 9 and here this one remains the same fc is equal to negative 1 now we have x and f of x f of y f of z values are uh, we found out the values now we have to plug it in this equation so instead of these values we can just plug the numbers because we found out the values so this is going to be minus 3 x minus instead of x naught we put this value x is 1 right so we put 1 right here and then a plus f of y we found out that is 9 and after that we put y minus y0 and we know the y0 is equal to 2 plus fz is negative 1 so we can just write <coughs> negative 1 right here times z is 
z we don't know but we know the c z naught that is 3 and that is equal to 0 now let's simplify this one so this is going to be negative 3x plus 3 plus 9y minus 18 minus z plus 3 is equal to 0 now let's bring all the numbers to the other side and the this is going to be our final answer after we simplify that's going to be our final answer so here we are going to have negative 3x plus 9y minus z is equal to 3 minus 18 that's going to give us minus 15 minus 15 plus 3 that's going to give us minus 12 and if we move the minus 12 to the other side that's going to become plus 12 and this is the equation of the tangent plane now most uh, some of the books prefer to write this one in positive like the first value in positive so in order to get that one we just have to multiply everything by negative one and if you multiply you will get 3x minus 9y plus z is equal to minus 12 and that's going to be the equation of the tangent plane i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time